I hit my backhand everywhere. It's in the net, it's long, it's wide. It goes everywhere except where I want it to go. How can I develop a consistent backhand? If your backhand is wild, it's all over the place, there's a couple of things you can focus on. The first thing is what grip are you using? And most people that are, do not have consistency, let's say, with their backhand, they're not holding a grip that really is conducive to making the racket completely vertical, straight up and down, at contact. Now, most of the time when I find players that are inconsistent, we're talking about a one-handed backhand. Um, they're usually holding a continental grip, okay? Let's do a little uh, lesson on the different grips. Okay, many of you who have been watching the channel know the, you know, the racket handle is octagonal. It's got eight sides. And we give those sides numbers, okay? One's on the top. This little bevel here, this flat surface, number two, number three is on the side, that flat surface. Four, a smaller surface there. And then five is on the bottom. Now you have the same thing for a left-hander going the other way. Now, if you have a continental grip, using your hitting hand, the index knuckle on the inside of the hand, and an X on the heel pad of the hand, if you put those Xs on number two, that's a continental grip. Now, it's a great grip for serving, for volleying, and even for hitting slice backhands. But if you want to drive the ball with topspin, this is not the grip you want. Now, let me just show you why. See, when you want to drive the ball, you're swinging low to high. But notice my racket is laid back. Now, for me to get my racket vertical, look at the awkward position that I have to put my wrist into. You know, you'll break your wrist trying to hit the ball like this. Okay, so, and the other thing is, you know, you have to make millisecond adjustments to get the racket vertical. Okay, so continental is great when you're slicing the ball, when you're swinging high to low. But when you're swinging low to high, continental is going to have you know, your racket face is going to be open every time and you can't get it vertical unless you make an adjustment with your wrist. And that's extremely difficult to do and you have to have an arm that could choke a bull. You got to be strong to hit the ball like that, let me tell you. So, where do we want the grip? Okay, now, so if you're here on number two, you want to move those X's on the inside of the hand to number one. Okay, now, that's called an Eastern backhand grip. Now, this will give you some topspin and make it much easier for you to have a vertical racket at contact. Now, you can go even further, which I will do at times. I use number one and I also use number two. So you even turn it this way, so you're on this little bevel on the other side. So notice what that does. Number one, look at the racket face there. It's pretty much straight ahead. But when I turn my hand to number two, notice the racket closes. And that makes it even easier and allows you to swing faster and get more topspin. So, if you notice here, I'm on number one, and as I swing low to high, see now the racket is vertical here at contact. And if I go to number two, I can create the same thing, a vertical racket, and the hand is behind the racket more, which even gives you more stability. Okay, so... That's the first thing you have to do. You've got to get the grip to either number one or number two. 
Then I want you to go out and just drop hit some balls. So just put your non-hitting arm over the hitting arm, drop the ball out in front, and just let the racket go. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. I drop the ball out in front. I grab the racket with my left hand. That helps me pull the racket back and down. Right there. Now I'm swinging low to high. The racket's vertical at contact. The hitting arm is extended. I've got an eastern backhand grip. You can see that my hand was on top. Okay, here's a good way to practice being vertical at impact. And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter who's holding the racket, Joe Smith or Roger Federer. So stand back from the net a good two feet, okay? Bring your racket back like you're hitting that backhand. Now, as you drop the racket down, remember, we're hitting topspin here, we're driving the ball, so we need a low to high swing. So as you drop it down, notice my right foot is gonna step towards the net. As I drop down, the right foot steps. But still, there's a good foot to a foot and a half behind the net because you wanna hit the ball with your arm fully extended, okay? See, my arm is fully extended. So two feet back, drop it down, step, and then come up and see if the racket is vertical. If you are holding continental grip, you see the racket's gonna be open unless you made that awkward adjustment. So turn the hand, you're on number one or number two, two feet back, drop it down and come up and check the racket. Are you hitting the white part of the net, the tape here, in a vertical position? And then you can just practice brushing that net a little bit. Just brush it and then occasionally stop and check, are you vertical? So that's really gonna help you get that racket vertical every time. Another thing you can do to increase your consistency. When you hit a backhand, okay, at the moment of contact, okay, when you're making contact, this muscle right here, it's called the extensor muscle, you have to make sure that you have strength in that muscle so that the racket stays firmed up when you make contact. If your opponent's hitting with power, you don't want the racket wobbling. That's gonna also, you know, end up with some inconsistency. So you've got to strengthen this extensor muscle. And I'm sure all of you have seen these hand grippers. I use one of these. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods for two, uh, for 14 bucks. And when you know, when I squeeze this, see right there, I'm using that extensor muscle. So squeeze it, hold it for a second, release. Squeeze, hold, release. And do that, do 20 reps, okay? 20 reps, maybe twice a week, and you're gonna see that muscle's gonna start getting stronger and stronger, and your backhand's gonna have more stability. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Get out there and practice, 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 and make it a good one. Focus on what we've discussed today, and you're gonna see your backhand becoming better and stronger all the time. All the best. Please give me a like, a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. Any questions or comments, post those below. Take care to your tennis success.